Greetings all. In this video, I'm going to be kitbashing myself a Tau Ethereal. Now, in my search in Google Images for inspiration from the various artworks, I came across a similar idea to this one and thought I had to give it a crack. The basis for this model is going to be the Gene Stealer Cult Magos. I like the pose and the high collar, and I thought that a few adjustments and drone, and she can make a nice Ethereal for my army. And at the very least, be a very nice focal point on the tabletop. So let's get into it then. My first issue with this build is that I was lacking a female tower head. There is one in the Fire Warriors kit, but it turns out I'd already used it. So my first step was to see if I could turn the Magos head into something a bit more tower like To make life a little easier on myself, I snipped off the sprue in such a way as it gave me a handle to hold when sculpting, otherwise this whole thing would have been pretty much impossible for me with my giant fingers. With that ready, I took my knife and I cleaned up the mould lines before carefully trimming off the raised lumps on her forehead area. If you plan on doing the same, being really careful makes for easier sculpting later on. With the forehead ridges gone, I could then trim the nose flat, as the Tau are lacking in this department. Trying to round off the edges of the cuts a little afterwards. The cutting done, it's time to add some green stuff and get to squishing. An equal amount of blue and yellow mixed together, and I could put a small ball around the area where the nose used to be. This would need to be shaped up and over the forehead so that I could then make the facial slit thing that the Tau have. Keeping my tools damp and working slowly, I formed the Y-shaped slit before going over the edges of the green stuff to blend them into the rest of the head. At some point, I also removed her earring. A bit too tyranny for my liking. With the face aside, I would move on to the next biggest change to the model, the feet. I have here a spare set of legs from the Fire Warriors kit and the legs from the Magos. They are a similar thickness in only one spot, and that's around the ankle area on the Magos legs and just above the round ankle nub on the Fire Warrior. So that's where they would need to be trimmed down. It's just a case of cleaning the cuts up with a knife or file to make sure the angles are right before adding some plastic glue and attaching the new feet to the legs. The next thing I set to work on is her weapon and the hand holding it. This is because the Tau have only been furnished with three fingers instead of four, so one of these will have to go. Taking my knife, I trimmed off the forefinger on the hand, using the blade to gently re-sculpt the hand so that it didn't look too out of place before moving on to the gene stealer in the root. Whilst quite nice, that staff head would have to go, as no ethereal would be seen dead walking around with a tyranid on a stick. So I trimmed it off just above the little rim here. I find that taking things off around rims and stuff helps when attaching new parts as they look like they're meant to be there more. Now I have to find something to replace that staff head with. The data sheet for the ethereal has them using an honor blade, and I thought what could be more honorable or blady than a giant axe? Well, a lot of things actually, but this is all I had, so I'm going to make the best of it. Maybe one of the Gouvace that gave it to her as a present. The axe head comes off quite nicely just below the little rim at the top this time, and to join it better, I'm going to take my drill and pin it together. For anyone not familiar with pinning, you take a 1mm drill, drill into both sides of the join a few millimetres deep, then add a length of wire the same size as the hole. Paper clip I found works really well for this. It's then super glued in on one side before being trimmed down and super glued into the other side. With the weapon done, I could start gluing the body together as per the instructions and I took this chance to fit the honor blade and the hand to the body too. Now, looking at the ethereal on hover drone model that Games Workshop sell, it has a chunky Tau symbol belt buckle and a flap of cloth coming from that. For the buckle, if you had any spare shoulder pads, then cutting the symbol off those would work nicely. But sadly, I did not, so I'm gonna to have to make my own out of green stuff. It won't be perfect, but lacking an alternative, my choices were limited. Taking a small ball of green stuff, I pressed it almost flat onto a base. I'm doing it on a base here as I can cut it off later with no dramas and the base will give me something to hold while I sculpt. I don't want this completely flat however, as the symbol is generally domed. I could then use some sculpting tools, or in this case my knife and a barbecue skewer, to shape it so that it's fairly round. With that done, I need to make the symbol itself, a circle at the top with a line coming down from it. To make the circle, I have here the inside of a biro, which is about the right size and will give me a nice even circle when pressed into the putty. It will, however, require a little bit of reshaping of the dome afterwards, but that's easy enough. And after that, a line can be made with my skewer and my knife, and this tail symbol can now be set aside to harden. 
Whilst this belt hardens, I figured it was a good time to work on her left hand. The Magos comes with a choice of two, but I wasn't feeling either of them. For this, instead, I have opted to use one from the Namati Reavers kit to give her an empty hand. And to begin with, I would have to remove one of the fingers. Again, I have opted for the forefinger here, as it's probably the easiest to get to. And after trimming it off with the clippers and knife, I'm left with an empty hand that's kind of pointing that I can then clip off of its arm, just above the wrist, ready to attach the ethereal's body with some plastic glue. Now, once attached, it does look a bit like she's pointing to the ground, but I'm okay with this. I'm thinking it's more of an involuntary gesture as she's trying to steady herself on a floating drone whilst carrying a gigantic axe. She's coming together quite nicely now, but there's a hole in her left butt cheek where the pistol would attach. To cover this, I'm going to use a pouch from the Fire Warrior kit, which can just be glued into place over the hole with no real adjustment needed. And once this is done, I felt it was a good time to smooth over the joints at her ankles a little. This can be done with a knife or a file. Back to the belt. For a cloth flap, I'm going to use one that's attached to the pistol from the Magos' kit. This can be trimmed off either end to both remove it from the pistol holster and remove the symbol from the bottom before being glued into place. Don't worry too much if it doesn't look awesome at the join area though, as this is going to be covered with that belt symbol. Once the glue has set, I can then take out my knife and I carefully trimmed a little at the top of the cloth flap. It poked out a bit from the body and to help the symbol sit nicely, I needed it a little flatter. Once this has been done, some super glue can be used to add the symbol in place, though if you're using one from a shoulder pad, you can just use plastic glue instead. And with that done, I felt it might be time to add her head, as that's probably set by now. The hover drone ethereal has an aerial coming out the back of his armour, and to emulate this, I took one of the aerials from a drone. With only a little trimming to the contact point, this could then be glued in place on her back. For her hover drone, I had a spare drone lying around, although the normal drones are a lot more domed than the one the ethereal stands on. To fix this, I took some sandpaper and I sanded the top of my drone flat. Now I could just attach this to a flight base and be done, but I'm not the biggest fan of those. So I took a piece of ruin from my Veminum Crawler's base parts that I didn't use, and I'm going to pin the drone to the top corner of this ruin as if it's hovering only just over it. I was not done here, however. For once I had primed the model, I noticed I'd forgotten a few things I had set aside, so I came back to them now. The first was to take the little symbol off the front of a Tau gun to attach to the side of the axe. I felt that this would help it fit in with a bit nicer to being a Tau thing and not just some random weapon I had lying around. So, carefully taking my clippers, I cut out both symbols together from the gun, before separating them in half cleaning them up and gluing them in place either side of the axe head. Next up I have here this little backpack aerial from the Fire Warrior kit. I trimmed the bottom of it flat and flattened out the back of the axe head so I can glue it into place to hopefully sell this as being a little bit more of a towel thing. And with that I was in fact now done. She can have another coat of primer and some paint and here is my finished ethereal on hover drone. She stands a little bit taller than the Games Workshop model and the weapon isn't the most Tau thing I've ever seen, but with the myriad of worlds and species under the Tau Empire, it's not too much of a stretch to think that she picked this weapon up on her travels. If you enjoyed this, please consider dropping a like or subscribing if you aren't already. Maybe do both. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and have a good one all.